We're here with Heather. How are you, Heather? I'm good, Renee. Good. Thank you so much for coming out today. Tell me a little bit about your expansion. Yes, Renee, sure. So Hospice of Queen Anne's has been in existence since 1985 as a nonprofit hospice organization. Um, and about three, in 2014, we were asked by um, the local hospital system, University of Maryland, um, if we were willing and able to um, not only do hospice in Queen Anne's County, which we had done for over 30 years, but to um, do hospice services both in Kent and Caroline counties as well. So we, at, in 2014, we changed our name from Hospice of Queen Anne's to Compass Regional Hospice as we regionalized into Kent, Caroline counties to become all three counties, Queen Anne's, Kent, and Caroline counties. I see. Okay. Uh, we're here at the new headquarters. We're so excited. Um, we have moved over here. Our administrative staff moved over here about uh, six or eight months ago um, from our building just down the street here at 255 Comet Drive where our um, offices and a hospice center has been housed since 2007. And we have grown our staff so significantly over the last couple of years from about 20 some staff members to over 80. Really? That we did have to look at other alternatives for um, office space for our employees. So instead of building another building, there was this vacant building here that the um, the Queen Anne's County Planning and Zoning was moving out of into the new administrative offices over by the ACME that they moved into. So we took the opportunity to buy this building um, and move our administrative staff in here. So we have over about 50 employees that report to here on a daily basis um, that not only our administrative staff, but also our staff that goes out into the patient's homes. Wonderful. And nursing homes and assisted livings in the county. Okay. So we're real excited about our new building. And we have a lot of plans for our building just down the street at 255 Comet Drive, mm -hmm. where our hospice center is. Um, that has been a six bed hospice center for, since 2007 um, when it was built and the community got behind us then. We did a capital campaign and raised over $2 million to build that building. And we're very blessed that there was no mortgage on that because of the residents of Queen Anne's County. Um, and now we're looking to, because we have the hospice it needs more beds in Queen Anne's County, we're looking to expand by two beds. Um, and also to um, redesign the administrative side of that building to become what we would call our Hope and Healing Center. Mm. And our Hope and Healing Center is um, a center that all of our grief support services um, families and patients and clients can come to get grief counseling. That's great. And can anyone come or or would they have had to have gone through hospice in order to use the service? That's a great question, Renee, because a lot of people do think about Compass Regional Hospice as just a hospice program. Mm -hmm. And of course, that is our primary um, business. But uh, Grief services is a large part of our business as well. And we we provide grief services to anybody in Queen Anne's County, Kent County, or Caroline County, which are all three of the counties that we do serve now as Compass Regional Hospice, um, that have experienced a loss of a loved one. And that could be because of an uh, uh, automobile accident, a drug overdose. Unfortunately, that's becoming a real epidemic now with um, opioid addiction um, in our county and in our state and in our country, unfortunately. Um, it also can be because, you know, of any type of accident. Mm -hmm. So we take care of anybody who's experienced a loss. And not only with individual counseling, but also with group, group counseling. We're looking to do some alternative therapies at our Hope and Healing Center, like Reiki, Reiki, Reiki yeah. um, yoga, mm -hmm. massage or touch therapy. We're look, um, do, going to be doing some children's um, therapy. We're looking to have some um, soundproof counseling rooms, some children's therapy playrooms. Um, also, an uh, area f to, for cooking to maybe teach um, a spouse who has lost um, their, their significant other who was the one that was cooking for many many years to learn how to cook a meal for themselves. That's so. awesome Heather! Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we're really excited about the opportunities that we'll be able to have when we are able to renovate the Hope and Healing Center. Well, this is amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I learned so much today. Yeah. So tell the public how they can contact hospice. Uh, well, we have our website, which is www.compassregionalhospice.org, or they, our phone number is 443-262-4100. Um, you all have, the people can contact us for many reasons. We have volunteer opportunities that they can check out. Anybody who would like to volunteer, not only for patient care, but we do administrative volunteering. We, uh, people Will help to volunteer for our events. We have our gala coming up in April, April 6th at Annie's um, in Graysonville. Um, that's our, our main signature event for the year. So we're very excited about that and tickets are on sale now. Um, so that sells out quick. It's about 200 people attend that. So if you want tickets for the gala, you can contact us at that phone number or the website that I, that I said. Thank you so much. It's quite informative.